Good morning, student. I am Purnima, and I welcome you to my class of Uncle English. Today, children, I am going to revise the poem "The Grasshopper and the Cricket." It is written by John Keat. He is a very famous poet at the Victorian time, and he has written a lot of famous poems like "The Rime of the Ancient Mariner." Okay, so these poems are very famous, and this poem is also very good with a lot of motivational. Uh, message is there in this poem now children first of all as you can see the heading on the grasshopper and cricket so grasshopper and cricket they both are insect well now i will be telling you i've already told you about the poet poet is john keats and um, children this i will be telling you about the background of the poem then the summary and of course then the explanation and the new words will be discussed with you in the class so children this nature poem draws attention to the musical notes of birds and insects going on forever so children you can see children whenever you will see or you will hear carefully nature you can see a lot of voices coming lot of musical note you can see like the chirping of the bird you can see the um, the grass hopper and um, the cricket they keeps on singing the song so a lot of sound from the nature will be coming uh, and children not only the sound of insects and bird you, whenever you are uh, you can see the humming sound of the bird sometimes we feel sometimes the fluttering of the wings of the birds and the butterfly we can hear not only children when the wind blows we can hear the sound of the wind the falling of the leaves on the ground if it is a cemented floor we can hear so so many noise we can hear from the nature when the river flows okay especially the river which is there in the mountain area or the waterfall we can hear the nice musical sound so this poem it draws our attention to the musical notes of the birds and insects going on forever now this sound they never stop every morning we hear the chirping of the bird every evening we can hear the singing of the song by uh, cricket okay so this music is provided by the grass hopper on hot on hot summer noon on once upon a time it was a hot summer noon and a grass hopper was there who was singing every time providing the musical notes of the insects and by the cricket in cold winter thus every season has its own kind of joy and music so children this bird is full of musical note okay this music we comes from the so we get from the birds from the insects from the nature like wind water okay on a hot summer day the bird seek shelter in the cool shade of tree but it is time for merry making for the grasshopper he flies from one fence to another singing now it is a summer season it's a hot summer day and the bird it they go to the nest they take shelter to the place which is uh, where they have a cool shade of trees but it is the time for making merry making for grasshopper he flies from one fence to another singing all the time and in the hot afternoon in the hot summer also the grasshopper he is going from one fence to another and he is um, singing all the time when he is weary of singing he rest under some wild plant children weary means tired okay so weary means tired so when the grasshopper is very very tired what he does he rest under the plant the birds remain silent and hide in winter so all the birds they remain in silent and they hide in winter also on a frosty day there is utter silence on all side and children a frosty day is there and utter silence is there on all the sides then suddenly the silence is broken by the song of a cricket 
and children what happened then suddenly the silence is broken by the song of cricket his voice comes from a pile of stone thus the music of the earth is endless this is what the poet want to said that the music of the nature the music of the earth is endless it is a person feeling if to a person feeling sleepy the cricket sound appears to be coming from distant grassy hill now if a person is feel, feeling sleepy he would uh, hear the sound of the cricket singing it appears to him he will hear and it will appears to him as if it is coming from distant grassy hill so now children i would be explaining the um, poem and before that i would like to read the poem first and then we will do the explanation part the poetry of earth is never dead when all the birds are faint with the hot sun and hide in cooling trees a voice will run from hedge to hedge about the new mon made that is the grasshoppers he takes the lead in summer luxury he has never done with his delights for when tired out with fun he rests at ease beneath some pleasant weed now stanza 2 of the poem the poetry of each is seizing never on a lone winter evening when the frost has rout in silence from the stone there shrills the cricket song in warmth increasing ever and seems to one in drowsiness half lost the grasshopper among some grassy hill so children uh we conclude that the music of nature is forever and it never stop in one form or other we keep on hearing the music of nature sometime children from the bird sometime from the insect sometime children the trees start uh, blowing with the help of the wind and we can hear the children fluttering of the wind wings of the butterfly or the birds waterfalls from the waterfall that is also a nice we can hear the nice musical notes if the rain uh, drop is there or if the rainfall is there then we can hear the music of the uh, rainfall so this music some or the other time it keeps on going on that what's the author the poet john keats tell that the music of the earth is endless it never stop now before starting and before i start explaining the first stanza let me tell you uh, i will be writing the meaning of the new word so children hear the poetry hear the poetry doesn't means poem hear the poetry means music hear in this poem the poetry means music okay hear poetry doesn't means poem here in this poem the poetry means here music now children in some of the poems we have to act what what is the what does the poet poet want to say so here poetry don kit want to convey that it is a music of nature so then dead lifeless dead is lifeless that is lifeless then children we will come to the next uh, meaning faint feeling dull here faint means not unconscious here faint means feeling dull okay so these are the new words which i have written weary means tired Uh, poetry means here in this uh, poem it means music dead means here a lifeless and faint means feeling done so faint here means what children feeling done okay now hide i think 
everybody you know what is the meaning of hind you can note it down the meaning otherwise out of sight what is the meaning of hide out of out of sight okay so voice the musical sound of the grass hopper children here voice means not the sound but the musical sound of the grasshopper that means student whatever song he was singing the uh, poet is referring to that voice okay then new moon well of course hedge means green fence and new moon means freshly cut so children one word is hedge that means green fence green fence and then uh, one new word is there what is that let me see new moon freshly cut then made is lawn i hope you can see children okay uh, you can see this words or not yes now you can see it so hide means children hide means out of sight voice the musical sound of the grasshopper till why grasshopper is mentioned here because the whole poem is dealing with the musical sound of the grasshopper and the cricket the whole poem is dealing with the musical sound of the grasshopper and the cricket and then hedge is green fence new moon is freshly cut freshly cut mid is a lawn okay meet here is lawn now then some other new words of the first paragraph so children i hope this is clear new moon means freshly cut meet is lawn hedge is green fence voice here it is not the sound of anybody it is the voice of the grass hopper which is singing high days out of sight now the meaning of some more new words you have to jot it down in your copies or diary okay so then down with finished delights with joy and fun down with finished delights with joy and fun children here delight means having a joy happiness or fun okay here delight as it means only happiness that means do funny things and enjoy have fun then at ease is relaxed beneath is under at ease is relaxed okay at ease is relaxed and beneath is under wild plant b 
read. Okay, so uh, children, you can see here. All right, I have written the meaning of some more new words, and you have to remember it. Now let me revise. Down here means children finished. Here down means don't go down or don't go up. Not that down. Down means finished. Delight means joy and fun. At ease means relaxed. And beneath means under. Wheat here means wild plant. Okay, wheat means wild plant, which is not required. So, children, now I am going to start explain doing the explanation of the poem. The poetry of earth is never dead when all the birds are faint with the hot sun. Okay, so children, the writer John Keats is telling that the mu musical note of the nature is not finished it never dies it keeps on continuing 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 it never ends and children the poetry of earth is never dead and which poetry he is talking about which new musical note he is talking about he is talking about the musical note of earth okay the musical note of earth it is not, never, it is not dead. When all the birds are faint with the hot sun and hide in cooling trees, a children, even it, the musical note is not affected by any season. Now, for example, children, he is giving the example of a hot weather, summer season, where there is a lot of hot, that weather is very hot. And nobody comes out from their house. Even the birds, when all the birds are faint with the hot sun. Children, even the birds, when they fly in the hot sun, what happens? They simply faint. They hide in cooling trees. And children, these birds, where they will go? All afternoon, where they will remain? In the shade of a cooling tree. A voice will run from hedge to edge about the new mon meat. So children when it is so hot everywhere and nobody comes out even the birds children they faint if they come out and they shelter in the they take shelter in the where they take shelter they take shelter in the hot children uh, in the cool shade of the tree. So, nobody is outside, everywhere is lonely, but then a voice will run. Voice will run means, then also you can hear a voice. From hedge to hedge, and that voice children will be hearing, you can hear from one hedge to another. That voice will be coming from where? Hedge. What is the meaning of hedge? I told you just now, green fence. So, that voice will be coming out from the green fence, okay, and that voice will be coming out from green fence. The musical sound of the grasshopper, hedge is a green fence, new mon, freshly cut meat. And children, uh, that green fence is there, it is there in the freshly cut lawn, a beautiful freshly cut lawn is there. And green fence is there which is surrounding him and you can hear that voice coming from one fence to that as if somebody is moving from one fence to another from one hedge to another that is the grasshoppers he takes the leaves so whose voice is that whose voice is that that is the voice of the grasshopper and he takes the lead Okay, he is not resting, he is simply moving from one hedge to another and he is singing. He is singing, he is simply moving from one hedge to another and he is singing. So, from hedge to hedge about the new mon meat. New mon is freshly cut, meat is lawn. That is the grasshopper, he takes the lead. In summer luxury. Okay. 
and children he is taking though it is very hot it is uh, the summer is at its peak height nobody comes out from even the birds don't come out from the cool shade of the tree in that case then also the voice the musical voice the notes of the earth never ends we can hear the voice coming from from one hedge to another and that voice is of grasshopper he takes the lead in summer luxury he has never done with his delights okay and children he is uh, uh, not feeling tired he is full of fun and frolic he is full of happiness and he is singing in a very happy mood for when tired out with fun he rests at ease beneath some pleasant weed and after singing for a long time when he gets tired what he did what he do he rests at ease that means he is relaxed in a very relaxed manner he is resting okay he is resting at ease beneath some pleasant weed beneath some pleasant beneath means under and beneath weed is wild plant what he is doing he is what he is doing student he is resting okay and uh, he is resting where in a weed and he is in a very relaxed mood okay so this is the voice of the uh, and hence children the nature voice never stop the musical of uh, 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 notes of the earth it never stop and who is singing it is when in the hot summer when everybody is inside their house in the cool shade even the bird is not coming from the cool shade of the tree who is uh, children continuing the musical notes of the earth it is the grasshopper and he rests only when he is very tired when he is uh, he rests under the weed okay so children first of all a bird is there um it the bird is the poetry of earth so what do you mean by the poetry of earth so the means the poetry of earth here means the never ending musical notes of birds and insects what is that means the never ending ending musical notes of birds and and insects so this is the meaning of children bird the poetry of earth the this is the meaning of the poetry of earth i think you should note it down because it's important the what is the poetry of earth the poetry of earth is the never ending musical notes of birds and insects so this is known as the poetry of earth now where do birds take shelter in summer so birds take shelter in summer in the cool shades of tree and now children in this poem which insect is the prime singer in summer which insect is the prime singer in summer so children it is the grasshopper which sings whole summer uh, the whole world is inside their house even the bird don't comes outside but he is singing and singing and singing so what does he do when he feels tired he takes rest or he sleeps in the bird's nest stops singing takes rest under some wild plant well children what he do he uh, takes rest under some in some under some wild plant and um, when he is tired he is relaxed something that is enjoyable children which word means something that is enjoyable so it is luxury luxury is the word which tells that something which is uh, something which is very enjoyable okay so which word is that it is luxury all right so first paragraph is completed okay 
and then we will do the second paragraph and this is a very short poem is there and then we will discuss the question and answer please uh, learn the new word which is there because this verse is a bit difficult like the uh, this type of word is there children and the poetry of art is there then morn is there okay at is some difficult expression is also there in this poem so you have to learn all these words okay so i will continue the second stanza of the poem so now the students we are going to do the second stanza of the poem the poetry of art is ceasing never on a lone winter evening when the frost has wrought a silence from the stone there shrills the cricket songs in warm increasing ever amps to seems to one in a drowsiness half lost the grasshopper among some grassy hill so first we will write down the difficult word ceasing means ending so ceasing means here ending ceasing means here ending rout rout is brought about rout is brought about and then shrill mix it means making a loud noise making a loud noise then cricket of course we know it's a insect warmth means heat warmth means heat of course i think everybody know then drowsiness drowsiness state of being sleepy Ceasing is ending. Rout means brought about. Shrill means making a loud noise. Drowsiness is the state of feeling sleepy. So, student, these are some of the difficult word or the new word which you should learn. So, let me explain the meaning of the first line. The poetry of art is ceasing never. That means, children, poetry of art already I have told you. That means, children. the musical sounds produced by the uh, nature or one or some other insects or bird is goes around all the year round it goes on and on all the year round it never ceases that means it never end or it never stop on a lone winter evening when the frost has wrought a silence now children the poet is telling what happens in winter there is a complete silence spreads everywhere okay complete silence is there for all over the winter on a lone winter evening the winter evening is quite lonely because of the cold because of the ice is spread everywhere snowfall is there nobody comes out from their house everybody tries to work till day time and in the evening by the evening they goes to their house and nobody come on to come house when the frost has wrought a silence and everywhere there is a snowfall and it has brought a silence from the stone there shrills the cricket song and when there is silence everywhere the 
musical note of nature never ends as i told you there is a shrill in a loud voice the cricket song can be heard in warmth increasing ever and seems to run in drowsiness half lost and children the song of the cricket is heard his song expresses his delight which goes on increasing and children his song expresses his delight which goes on increasing and children if a person is feeling drowsy he is feeling sleepy he can hear okay the song of the cricket from the from some nearby hills so i mean to say uh, children during the time of winter the music whether it is summer season or winter season the music never stop now discuss with your partner the following definition of a poem a poem is made of words arranged in a beautiful order these words when read aloud with feeling have a music and meaning of their own okay so poetry is different from prose it has emotions it has feelings okay it arranges best word in a musical other uh, order however a poem being short musical and interesting is easy to learn by heart and to remember for a long period of time now question number 2 is the poetry of art is not made of words what it is made of as suggested in the poem the poetry of art is made of the chirping of birds in trees and a grasshopper sound they sing joyfully without a long break find in the poem lines that match the following children the grasshopper happiness never comes in an end the cricket song has a warm that never decreases so he has never done with his delight the cricket song in warm increases ever which word in standard 2 is opposite in meaning to the frost so it is warm frost means children covered with snow that means very cold there so bro warm is the word which is opposite in the meaning of the frost question number 5 the poetry of earth continues around the year through a cycle of two seasons mention each with its representative voice the two major seasons in a year are summer and winter both are rich in music in summer the representative voice is that of the bird and the grasshopper in winter the cricket is the a prime singer okay now one question is extra why do birds do, what do birds do in winter so they remain silent and hide in the winter as there is a snow fall everywhere and they don't feel comfortable they hide somewhere in the winter which insect is provide the music in summer so it is a grasshopper which uh, sings all the summer so um, with this silent i end my video here thank you and have a nice day ahead